following the 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 few uh, suggestions or guidelines I gave last time. Now you really need to be inventive or creative in reading the poem. Uh, for instance, uh, as I said, pronoun in this poem, anyone, no one, someone's, and uh, everyone's, uh, are used as nouns. Also, uh, anyone lived in the Freedom House town and Mending Wall. I think both of them are about uh, the issue of individualism and collectivism. You know how we deal with the others while protecting uh, the others or society while protecting our own individuality. You know, so I think both poems are to do with individuality. Uh, and here, um, uh, there are f four types of people, anyone, no one, uh, someone, and everyone. They are uh, characters. Uh, also, um, some adverbs and verbs are used as nouns, like he sent his didn't. Uh, it's actually not verbs, but aux auxiliary verbs, uh, is used as nouns. Okay, and then uh, the word order is changed. Remember, um, without so floating many bells down, uh, what it actually means is that uh, with so many bells floating up and down, but it, uh, the order is changed so that the rhythm uh, comes out more, okay? And then some, uh, sometimes uh, there were new phrases made out of cliche, like little by little uh, is a phrase that we are used to, we are familiar with, but uh, there are a lot of other phrases made with the same pattern, uh, like more by more, by more um, snow by stir, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's listen to. Uh, you have the poem, so read it. Uh, look at the, your own version, and let's listen to uh, E. E. Cummings reading the poem himself. I I, I play it to you uh, for you to listen to Cummings' own reading. You know, for you to have a sense of how he himself represent uh, the rhythm of this poem, okay? So um, basically uh, what we need to understand here is uh, what the, uh, the four, ma uh, four main characters are like, uh, uh, how we can understand them uh, in terms of their, uh, the issue of com conformity and in individualism, and uh, whether you agree with the poem's use of the types. Uh, this is maybe the second time, or maybe the third time, uh, the third poem where we have uh, poems representing people in terms of their types. Uh, the first one will be, uh, because I could not stop for death, uh, he uh, gently stopped for me. And there, uh, when the speaker goes through life, you know, we see life divided up into like three to four stages, okay? And then we have, um, do not go gentle into the good night. You know, where we have four types of people. And here we also have four types of people. Um, in, inevitably, when we divide up life into different types or people into different types, there could be something missing from the types. Uh, but uh, you can decide whether you like the, the kind, uh, the way it is divided. Um, this will be related to uh, one of the questions I'm going to ask uh, in the final exam. And that is, uh, f in the second part of the final exam, uh, we'll be using the main topics we, we have dealt with. Uh, in the poetry unit, for instance, uh, identity, or uh, life, death, or um, art, and music, uh, art and nature, etc. And then, um, but I will not um, uh, let you be limited by the poems we choose for that uh, section. For instance, uh, under life and death, we don't have this poem. We have Sestina, we have days, and uh, Philip Chong's response to days. Uh, and we also have anyone, oh no, sorry, uh, do not go gentle into that good night. You know, all of them are to do with uh, how lives is spent, you know, in a kind, uh, with a kind of regularity. Uh, this one too. Uh, so maybe uh, I will ask you to choose two poems to analyze how they deal with regularity or how they deal with different types uh, of people in life. So this is one thing uh, you can prepare yourself for. And that is, uh, you look at the titles, uh, the topics, the main themes, and then you see uh, what poems are, uh, uh, what poems deal with those themes. So like this one uh, is to do with modern society, but it's also to do with uh, life, the way people spend their lives. So this, this poem can also be grouped under unit two, you know, uh, poetry on life and death, okay? So the first question for you is, uh, uh, what do you think about the four types of people and what do you agree with them? 
okay? And then why is the town ca called uh, it's Pretty Hell Town? And finally, uh, can you recognize uh, important sound, important words, or important meter rhythm, okay? So let me explain the poem for you. Because uh, there were so many repetitions, uh, I tried to mark uh, 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 the pattern in different colors. For instance, repetition I mark in uh, light blue color, and then uh, the actions by anyone and uh, no one marked in red color, and uh, the actions of someone and everyone, men and women, marked in orange colors. Okay, and then we we'll, uh, we need to uh, be attentive to uh, how they are different from each other. Okay, like someone, everyone, uh, versus anyone and uh, no one. Okay. So anyone live in a pretty hell town with up so floating many bells down? This we explained before, so I don't think I need to explain them again. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, he he sang his didn't, he danced his did. Men and women, both little and small, care for anyone, not at all. So they don't care about anyone, okay? They sow their isn't, they reap their same, some moon stars rain. So here, some moon star rains uh, is another way of talking about the time's passing. Uh, like uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter. But there is a contrast here between what anyone does and what women and men or everyone and someone do. Like he sent his dead and he danced his dead. Uh, meaning that um, he, he expresses what he disagree with and what he agree with, or what he uh, is willing to do and what, is, what he is unwilling to do. You know, so he uses different ways to express himself. You know, either by singing or by dancing, etc. But then here, um, it shows how men and women are conformative because uh, even if they sow their isn't, what come out is the same. Okay, even if they plant uh, what they disagree with, what how they are different from the others, you know, uh, the the outcome is the same. It's like uh, when you come into school, you are all different from one another, and if you don't uh, pay close attention in develop, developing your own interests or developing your own talents, and you may come out as lost as everyone else. <laughs> okay, and that's what being the same could mean. Okay, uh, and then the third type of people, children. Okay, children guess that no one loved him more by more. So here, uh, women and women, th uh, women and men, they don't care about anyone. But children are more intuitive, so they know that no one loved him, uh, no one loved anyone, more, and more, more by more. Okay, but children they are to forget. Okay, so this is one characteristic uh, that the poem attached to children, uh, but only a few, and but only a few, only a few of the children, and down they forgot as up they grew. You know, so again, uh, forget down uh, matches uh, grow up. Although down is not necessary in standard English, okay, but here is added to uh, to make the rhythm uh, more uh, obvious, okay. So more by more, then there is an, ext an extension of the the increase, uh, the phrase, the variation of the phrase to show how uh, no one loved anyone, you know, uh, day by day, more by more, etc. When by now and tree by leaf, she loved his joy, she cried his grief. Snow by, uh, bird by snow and stir by still, anyone's, uh, any was all to her. Okay, so here, uh, no one loves uh, anyone wholeheartedly. You know, in every situation, you know, when there is birds singing, like in spring, when there is snow, when uh, she's in movement, when she's still, um, uh, and then uh, everything of, of anyone is all to her. Okay, and also uh, she left his joy. She um, she sympathetic with him. So if she he is joyful, then she laughs. If he is in grief, then she cries. Okay, so the two of them are uh, in sympathy with each other. Okay, so here um, you get to see uh, uh, the description of anyone and no one, and also women and men and children. Let's move on. And here you see more orange colors. So basically, uh, in the second part, we have a description, more description of someone's and everyone's as a contrast to what everyone, uh, sorry, anyone and no one do, okay? Someone married their everyone, left their crying and did their, their dance. So this is different from uh, what 
what no one does for anyone, right? No one uh, left his joy and cry his grief, something like that. But here, um, they left their crying and did their dance. So they, um, they left away their cries, uh, their sadness, and then uh, they do something that mecha mechanically. You know, they, uh, they don't dance like passionately, they, they dance uh, mechanically, okay? Sleep, wake, hope, and then, you know, again, something uh, uh, representing the regularity of life, okay? Set their nervous and they slap their dream. So they, uh, they keep saying they, never, they will never do anything. So in other words, uh, they are not active, okay? And they sleep through their dreams. So their dream becomes just a matter of sleep. No, to be forgotten, okay? Star, rain, sun, moon, and only the snow can begin to explain how children are apt to forget, to remember, and up so floating and many bells down. So again, another rhythm of life representing how children are forgetful. You know, as we grow up, you know, we, f we forget a lot of the things that we can understand intuitively as children, okay? One day, so this is when uh, anyone is in introduced, uh, because remember, um, yeah, this is already in the past tense, but uh, in, uh, in the previous part, we have uh, descriptions of anyone and no one when they are alive. And now, uh, uh, one day, anyone die. One day, anyone die, I guess. Busy folk bury them side by side, okay? And no one stooped to kiss, him, kiss, kiss his face. So it, uh, there's no description of the death of no one. It seems that uh, when no one stooped to kiss him, she dies along with him, okay? Little by little, uh, yeah, uh, bury them side by side. And then, um, you know, it seems that being buried side by side is uh, a state uh, of status, uh, no, uh, stasis, you know, they are in the still state, uh, in the status of being uh, static, okay? But, you know, the, the side by side, this phrase gets to be uh, again, extended by variation, okay? Side by side, little by little, and words by words, all by all, deep by deep, and more by more, they dream they'll sleep. So at the end, we, you see that, you know, even when they are dead, when they are asleep, uh, they are asleep, they are dreaming, you know, they are uh, developing their ideals, you know, even uh, after life, okay? No one and everyone, uh, and anyone, earth by April, wish by spirit and if by yes. Okay, so um, dream, they'll, they'll sleep, wish by spirit, if by yes. You know, all suggesting that um, th their life is not limited by their death. You know, after death, either, uh, I don't know how, either with uh, the influences they pass on to the other people or, you know, in another form of existence, they are still able to uh, carry on their dreams uh, they still have their wish, their spirit. You know, they are still able to confirm what they uh, uh, suppose. You know, that, like uh, at first uh, they make some suppositions, and then uh, at, uh, later they can confirm them. You know, so it's all a sequence of actions, uh, realizing what was uh, just tentative before, like dream, wish, if you know, get to be confirmed as uh, they move on. Okay, so this is a, uh, I think the. Um, the highest confirmation of anyone and no one. Uh, and that is, uh, even when they are uh, dead, they are still alive in some way, okay? But on the other hand, women and men, both dong and ding, you know, again, ding and dong, you know, the bells representing regularity. Uh, summer, autumn, winter, spring, reap their sowing and when they came. So uh, originally they, um, they slept their dream, they said their nervous, okay, so they deny their own uh, wishes, and now they become repetitive. Their life is just a matter of repetition. You know, they reap their sowing. What they sow, they, they reap, and then they, uh, they go one way, and then they come back the same way. So it's like life being in uh, a mere circle, you know, repetitive circle, and then sun, moon, stars, rain, and that's the end. Okay, do you have any questions? You know, here I marked uh, the contrast, like um, uh, left your crying and did your dance, uh, opposed to she left his joy and she cried his grief. Also, um, 
uh, this could also be uh, the oppo uh, opposed to how uh, uh, the variation um, anyone and no one can do uh, when they are uh, dead, like um, Earth by April, wish by spirit, if by yes. You know, so there are a lot of variations, a lot of actions, a lot of uh, realization of the uh, the dreams. You know, when they are uh, asleep or when they are dead. Yeah, and then uh, the ending shows the repetition of women and men. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me get back to my questions. Um, let's get group three. So, uh, what do you think about the four characters, four types of characters? Now, do y do you like any type? Or can you describe any type? Uh, actually, uh, I said four types. Uh, maybe, maybe I should say three types. You know, anyone and no, no, um, four types, four types. Anyone, one type. No one, another type. And w men and women, or someone, someone and everyone, the third type. Children, the fourth type. Yeah, these are four types. Yeah. So can you describe them? Okay, I think that anyone is the main character and others are surrounded by beside him. Mm -hmm. And you can see men and women, they didn't care anyone at all. And children, um, <laughs> I don't um, guess. Ch children seem to care him. Or yeah, anyone. Um, seem to what? Seem to care and love, like normal children. Uh huh. Or they they have a bit of understanding of them. Yeah. Yeah, they can understand that no one love uh, anyone. Yeah, yeah, and um, someone is. I think the the l the line here. Someone's marry their everyone's. More, it makes more sense when it comes to everyone's marry their someone's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't know why did they do this movement. Why did the author do did this changes? Because it make more sense in another way. Like uh, why? B b because you think that if we marry somebody, then that somebody must be somebody for us. Yeah, is so that what you meant? Everyone. It's someone. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But I think uh the the poet is trying to be ironic to say that you know, even if you think that, oh, I married the uh, the Mr. Right. <laughs> you know, but he may still be the type acceptable by society. You know, maybe he is uh some uh, uh I don't have any names, uh Ma Yingjo type or Chen Shui Bian type or Zhou uh, Jielun type, etc. So he is still an everyone. You know, yeah. even though uh, he looks unique to you. Okay. No, uh, you, you fall for him possibly because he, f he is one type. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but this is a good question. Yeah. This is a good question. Okay. And, um, then, mm. and then one day anyone dies. I think this is a high point that, you know. <laughs> the most interesting part, mm -hmm. and no one loves him and kiss him, kiss him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they they both dead, and me. No one dead like spiritually. Mm -hmm. Anyone that died physically. This is another good point. Yeah, this is another good point. Uh, just now I said that uh, it's not described uh, that uh, no one died. Uh, but I assume that she died. But I think Patricia wanted to say that she didn't die. You know, hers is a spiritual death. Yeah. So uh, she, in a way, is buried by anyone side by side, on the side of anyone, although she might still be alive. And then uh, if, we, if we read it that way, um, I think you can read some other meanings out of the, the following lines. Like, um, they dream they'll sleep, uh, no one and uh, uh, anyone, earth by April, uh, wish by spirit, if by yes. You know, then you can even think of it uh, in terms of the communication between life and death. 
you know, because I think um, this standard, uh, the standard of all by all, d by d, does suggest something miraculous happening to them. Yeah, whether it be uh, something that happened to both of them after death, or something that happened to them, you know, crossing the line between life and death. You know, I think, uh, yeah, I think both interpretations can work. 